the Z, not you. Just pay for it. Nah, I invited, I invited my daughter, not you. You trying to hop in the car and shit. No. Nah. I'm not finna, no. Nah. You tripping. Where your money at? I'm not paying for this. You doing all that. Man, you doing all that. You supposed to pay for all this shit. I told my daughter to come, not you. Lord, Lord, you pay for that. You got me fucked up, I'm telling you. you got I'm me not fucked paying up. for this. Pay for that. Look, you here paying for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not paying for that shit. You got me fucked up. Why would you throw that shit on me? I'm not paying for that shit. Goofy, come on. Who fucking pay for that meal? I you a whole nigga, though. You a whole nigga. I invited my daughter, though. I'm not paying for I that shit. I invited you. I'm not paying for that shit. I told you to stay home. Don't get mad. Now you pay for that shit. Alright, but you broke though. You can't get no food. It's mine. Move. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. There's a baby involved. A baby, baby, baby scene right there. Wow. Wow. <sighs> There's a baby. Just. Just, ref just reflect on this. There is a baby there witnessing this. A little baby. At the most impressionable stage of her life, she's witnessing this madness. Both parents, dysfunctional, acting a fool in public. Wow. Jesus Christ, man. These men, where did they make them for these boys? Wow, we're coming from decades and decades and decades of single motherhoods. So you have all these immature boys being raised, being babied by single mothers. There's nothing wrong with single motherhood if you got into single motherhood because of your partner died, your husband died or something like that. But still... It's hard for a woman to raise a man. Most of the time, a woman cannot raise a man. You need a man to raise a boy to become a man. To show him how a man is supposed to behave towards women, towards other men, and to himself. You don't go out with your baby and your baby moms and you behave like this. He is wrong. A hundred percent. If you want to make it a daddy daughter date, take your daughter. You go on the go on the dates. Give her by treat your child. If your baby mom decides to come with, and there's nothing you can do, let her know before she gets in the car. Look, you are going to have to pay for yourself because I can't afford all the meal for everybody. If she decides she wants to stay at home, both of you go. Or if she's been stubborn and wants to come, you just have to hold that man. You just have to take the L, charge it to the game, man. Eh? Because you're, it's pretty much a checkmate situation because your child is there. You have to behave properly when your child is there because you're going to normalize this behavior and this child is going to think it's okay for a man to behave like this to a woman because he's seeing his dad behave like this to, he, to her mom. So she's going to think this is normal. She's going to normalize DV. Domestic violence, all this nonsense. She's going to normalize it in her mind. And she's going to grow up and continue that vicious cycle. She's going to continue that process. Because you're indirectly programming that child for destruction. The ch children are our future as a black community. Every race, children are the future. But our children go through so much trauma that we put them through as adults. Because we were brought up that same way. So we've normalized it. So we're putting it in front of our children. They're normalizing it. This is just going to continue, 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 continue. How we're going to break this, this cycle, I do not know. This is madness. You do not behave like this. The baby mama wants to come. She forced herself to come. You can't afford the meal. Speak to her in a better way. If she still insists, if she's, if she's some crazy person that still insists to be there and not pay, fine, no problem. Figure out how to do it. Figure out how to pay for it. Surely you can afford $50 or $70 for that, for that meal. Come on, man. You're not that broke. Of 
course he can afford it. He's just being an idiot. He's trying to just cause a scene unnecessarily, making a fool of himself. Why do you do that, man? 